welcome to Dominica. First ever dive in the Caribbean islands. A cruise. <laughs> On a cruise. <laughs> Today, I woke up in the beautiful Caribbean in Dominica Island, which is only home to 70,000 people and a few whales. I am here with the tourism board and with five other travel bloggers and we are gonna show you the best of the island. It is a very remote little island in the Caribbean and not a lot of people come here. It's not huge for tourism, unlike its neighboring islands of like St. Kitts and Barbados. So I'm super excited to be here to kind of show you guys a different part of the Caribbean. I've woken up to this already and check it out. So about to get out of my hotel room, I've just had some breakfast and I'm gonna go dive in. It will be my first time diving the Caribbean islands. I'm super excited. There's loads of whales around and obviously you're not allowed to actually dive with whales. Our regulations here you can't scuba dive or swim with whales, but you never know if one just swims past you. I'm really excited to see what the reefs are like, what the corals are like and what animals I can see underwater. So repping girls that scuba, let's go scuba diving. We are here at Nature Island Dive Centre and about to go for our first dive just in the shore over here. It's supposed to be a typical Caribbean dive, lots of pinnacles, lots of soft corals, turtles, maybe some macro life. This is my first ever dive in the Caribbean islands so I'm really excited to see what it looks like. Apparently the water is 29 degrees but I'm still in my new wetsuit. Got the girls at Scuba logo on it, love it. So yeah, let's see what this first dive is like. Caribbean dive, what you expect. Warm waters, clear waters, lots and lots of fish, massive pinnacles, massive sponges, and so much life. And not one piece of single-use plastic. There were quite a lot of fishing lines, as there always is in the ocean, but no single-use plastic. Now I've been speaking to the dive shop owner. He's told me that they do a lot of cleanup, so it's definitely a lot of community effort. It's so nice to see on such a small island like this. They really care about the ocean, they understand how much the ocean brings to them and that they're doing clean up so regularly. So it's day two now in Dominica and today we're gonna have a chance to explore the local villages. Yesterday was amazing discovering Dominica underwater. It's always my favorite way of exploring a country straight away to see what it looks like underneath. It makes you appreciate what you see above as well, I think. Now we're going to go and hit one of the local Sasse markets, take a look at some local souvenirs, some local foods, and then maybe chill out at this pool in Fort Young Hotel, which is super nice and looks like it's just waiting for us. <laughs> like fruit and vegetables, some local cloves, but 
pretty much every vegetable and fruit you can imagine. One of the best things is look, most of it is not even wrapped in plastic. It's the kind of market we need to be doing more at home. Chloe's checking out avocado. Seen. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. All of the classic Caribbean fruits you can imagine mangoes, pineapples. Hey! <laughs> Some really friendly locals. It's always really, really nice to go around local markets and check out what they're selling. into a small little village called Sofria which is in the west of the island as you can see all of the houses have different colored roofs and super super colorful they're just perching on this tiny little hill looking above the bay right to the end that's Scott's head there go snorkeling out there but I wanted to mention why I'm looking so white and this is not an ad but I want to tell you that you all need to be using reef safe sun cream this is a new reef safe sun cream I'm trying out it's plastic free all, all natural ingredients it's not an ad I'm not trying to plug this what I am trying to plug is reef safe sun cream and even if you do look like this it doesn't matter because you're not going to be hurting this beautiful ocean out there Fingers crossed we're going to try and look for some sperm whales. I've never seen sperm whales before and Dominica is one of the best places in the world to see them. So we are going to sail out in right over there into the deep ocean and search for sperm whales. our whale watching tour and we saw three sperm whales and so many dolphins like a huge super pod of dolphins it was amazing seeing sperm whales it's the first ever time I've seen them and now all I want to do is be able to swim with them it is now Monday Dominica, don't need time when you're in the Caribbean. We have moved to the north side of the island and into a place called Picard Cottages, which you can kind of see behind me, is basically just a cottage right on the beach. There's our cottage, there's the beach. stopped off to get some lunch and we've chosen the local option so I'm going to show you what kind of food that you can expect in Dominica. So we've got that's dumplings, we have some lentils, some like uh, potato wedges and salad. So because I'm a vegetarian it is a little bit harder over here. Um, there definitely are some places that cater towards vegetarians but there are a lot that don't but what you can do is just have the whole main course without the actual meat or the fish in it. Our last activity of our time in Dominica, we are heading on an Indian river cruise, which I don't really know anything about. 
quite yet until we actually get there. But today is actually our last day. Tomorrow we head home. So this is our last activity, discovering the unknown Dominica. So I think there's a bar at the end. We're on a cruise. We're on a cruise. It's the hottest place on the planet at the moment. stop on our river cruise <laughs> to um, a rum bar in the jungle and we've got ourselves some passion fruit rum punch just like they do in Dominica. 